So I'm just using a mixture of burnt sienna and Van Dyke brown. And then into that I'm just going to mix some titanium white. Just titanium white. That's a bit too bright actually, so I'll put it to one side. And I'll just use a little bit of it in with that darker brown there. Because I want it to be a semi shade, I don't want it to be really bright, just like that, that's perfect. Now, I can just run through the knife colour. I want to put a bit of that other colour that we had before in with it. So it's not going to sit out too different. There, that's cool. Right, so, just on this area here, coming down from about there, just going to touch with the palette knife, a little bit of that colour in, and it actually comes along the top as well, just in there, you can actually put it on with the knife and then I'll come back with a brush afterwards. And we've got the same going right down into there. And just that colour tone difference will make this look smart. A little bit of that up in there. Just from the edge of that. Just from the side of it. Don't go right to the edge. a bit up there where that goes in like that and then the rest of it behind is more or less dark got a bit of something there so now I just wipe the knife off clean that off and then I'm just going to come back to this little brush that I've got here and you can actually come right over all of that colour and allow it to mix and blend so it's not too bright then this is a textured canvas so you could see these little holes on it but now with the brush I'll just blend it all in there perfectly for you that will allow us to put some windows in for this castle To that, I'm going to use a tiny bit more on the brush, and I'm just going to go on this edge here, right down this edge. Be careful not to go into the actual water with it. Have a steady hand. There, just a bit of something, not a highlight, but just a little bit of something going on in there. Now back to my liner brush and you get the dark on it and then just up in here we've got a little window just put that in with the dark further down. Reload regular. Right. I've actually got an area just in here where there's a line, a line, a dark line coming down. Just there. And then I'll use a brush to just soften that off. I want it to be very distinct that. That's it. And then I come back again. And I'll just pick out a couple of little windows just in there as well. Yeah. 
there's like a castle doorway down here. Just in the dark now. That's it. Because under here now, all the way across, it's going to be dark for rocks and stuff that's in front of that. So I'm using my bigger brush. I can just come in in front of that and just make that dark. Square and bring that doorway down to there. That's good. We're getting there. There's going to be a few highlights on here as well. But I'm just going to concentrate on this castle at the moment. With a window there. A little window there. Loads of little windows all over the place, basically in these old castles. Little indications and stuff as well. So I'm just going to use a fan brush now. Small fan brush. And I mixed up a green, a dirty green, it's sap green and black together with a tiny bit of cadmium yellow as well. So I'm going to get a lot of paint on that brush. Tap a, actually tap and push into it and you'll get a little ridge out on your fan, out on your fan brush. So with that I just want to come in here and indicate some grass but I don't want it to be very distinct. I don't want it to stand out too much. I want it to be, remain dark in there. But this is just a bit of land. Bit of grass growing out on this land. Hope it stands out on camera because I need it to stay quite subtle this this effect. Same over in here. Some highlights on it. I actually tap to the colour and mix with it. Exactly what we're after. Maybe smash a bit of that in over there as well. I know I've got just in here. I want to bring some of that green up into that and leave that dark shadow behind it. Same on top of that. See how we didn't cut them right down or leave them shadows in there. They're as important as the grasses because it'll really give it some depth. Nice one. For right, this one. painting finished. So I'm just going to reveal the frame, take the tape off. That's it, just like that. Just take this tape off now, very carefully. So I really don't want to damage this. So. It's a bit risky doing this, but it's got to be done to protect the actual frame that was made before. And there you go. Beautiful Scottish castle. I hope you've all enjoyed this demo and I've had a blast doing it for you all, so take care. I'll see you all again soon.